everybody. Welcome. It is the Gym Masters Show Live Entertainment Lifestyle Talk Show Series. So great to see all your smiley faces. I, of course, am your host, Jim Masters. This is our Entertainment Lifestyle Talk Show Series. We're bringing back that large start of conversation, and we're doing it with and for all of you with great entertainment, poignant conversations, a lot of cool moments, live interactivity, and also post-show activity as well. A lot of people like to comment on our YouTube channel after the show is live. We are live right now, but if you're somebody who watches these shows after it's live and you watch it in the replay on our YouTube channel, Jim Masters TV, we welcome you. It's always cool to have you here as long as you're watching and enjoying, you're entertained, you're informed, and you have a good time with us. Stick with us. We've got so many shows we've done. We're approaching, I think, somewhere around 650 episodes of our series, which is really amazing. We thank everybody who watches all the time, our faithful loveties. We know who you are. We know who watches all the time. We appreciate that. And those of you who are brand new, who are discovering us for the first time, we welcome you to the show as well. We toast you in style. We have this really cool, there you can see it. It says, Mr. Lovety, hashtag Masters Mantra. This was a fantastic glass, custom-made glass that was sent to me by one of our JMS Faithful Lovety viewers a while back, Maureen in Arizona. And so we've got uh, just some pink lemonade in here, uh, just something light, even though it is Saturday night. Uh, we've got some pink lemonade in here for a refreshment. Looks kind of funky and cool, doesn't it? So there he says, Mr. Lovety, hashtag Masters Mantra. Because I always do, for years I've been doing these hashtag Masters Mantras on our YouTube chat. Well, actually on our Facebook page, my Facebook pages, Jim Masters TV, and also on Instagram and Twitter, Jim Masters TV, and also on YouTube. Matter of fact, here on our YouTube channel, Jim Masters TV, we have a section for Masters Mantras, which is positive, you know, inspirational messages and video and cool things like that. So we toast you and you and you with this uh, fantastic Mr. Lovety uh, glass. Now, you're probably saying for those of you watching for the first time, what is he talking about this Mr. Lovety thing? Real quick, I know we've said it a few times, but we're always getting new viewers. The word lovity sort of uh, fell in place with our series when I said, I'd say about a year ago, maybe even longer now, because we've done so many shows, I said the show has a lot of light, love, and levity, right? I said light, love, and levity. And when I said light, love, and levity, I said it too fast one of the days on one of the episodes, and I said the word lovity. So when I said the word lovity, everybody said, hey, all right, that's it. You're Mr. Lovity. This is Lovity Hall. Our viewers are calling themselves right there, the JMS Lovity Squad. And that's rare. That's special. You don't get that on a lot of shows, a lot of places. We're very interactive. I think it's cool celebrating our faithful viewers. So that's where Levity came from. And all the episodes have a lot of that sprinkled in. Our guests become part of the Levity family. You're part of the Levity family as well. So we toast to all of you. And we thank you guys for being here. And we love this great glass from Maureen in Arizona, who is usually with us uh, as often as possible. We realize not everybody can be here all the time live. But uh, that's why we archive everything. We have everything in the archives on our YouTube channel. So you can watch it later. Uh, I know that a lot of you do like to participate in the show. So if you'd like to comment during the show live, or we would just love it if you did it anyway, we would love it if you subscribe to the YouTube channel. I know we say that during the course of the show, but uh, it lets people know that when you do subscribe, you just click this red button here, subscribe. It is very easy to do. And, uh, there's no cost. When you click that red button on our YouTube channel, subscribe, uh, what it does is it lets us know how much you really enjoy these series. It gives us some idea of what you're enjoying. But also, if you click the notification bell, you will never miss any of the episodes because you'll be alerted. You'll get a notification from YouTube every time we have an episode uploaded. So you never miss anything. Sometimes I hear from some of our viewers. I even had a friend say, Jim, there was a recent episode I wanted to see, but I didn't know it was on. And I said, did you get the notification? And they said, no. And I said, did you click the little notification bell icon? They said, well, I am subscribed, but I never clicked. I didn't know what that was. So make sure you click that so you can get the notifications. It's just a little thing you get that just says, hey, coming up on the Gym Master Show live this night and this night and this night. Um, you'll be notified. So cool stuff, gang. Good to see everybody. Lots of great comments coming in here. I see the troops uh, 
filing in here, our regular Lovety audience from all around the world. Our viewers watch literally from all around the world. It's very cool. It's very special. And again, if this is your first time, welcome to the Gym Master Show Live experience. Lovety is a movement that we have sort of uh, started here on the show. And I think the world needs a little more of Lovety, right? With all the poignant conversations and laughs and fun we have as well. Uh, we've done about 650 episodes almost. And, but we had another show earlier today, if you missed it, for those watching, we had humorist and stress management expert and author, and she's just a dear friend and she's fantastic. Loretta LaRoche was with us earlier today. We had a lot of laughs. It was a brilliant episode. If you didn't see that, check it out. It's right here on our YouTube channel. So good to see everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. We always like to do a nice welcome with our audience. And it's so good to see you here. Keep the comments coming live. Again, if you'd like to comment live, feel free to do so and make sure you do it uh, by subscribing. That's a gift to our subscribers. The ability to comment live in chat is when you're subscribed. All right. Good to have you guys here. We are very excited to welcome uh, a brand new guest to our show. First time, and I'm sure it won't be the last time, Cindy Hetzel is here, supermodel, actress, and she even loves floral designing too. We're going to talk about that. She's multi-talented. She hails originally from the wonderful state of Michigan, uh, has many years been in New York City, which is where uh, she uh, makes the home. However, uh, she also has spent a good amount of years in Los Angeles. So she's been coast to coast. She moved to New York City, actually, to pursue her modeling career. And she's the middle uh, child of three girls. And her mother is Korean and her dad is German-Irish. And she started her modeling career and was scouted after high school, where she moved to New York City in the mid-1990s to pursue modeling full-time with one of the top modeling agents, Elite, and was able to travel the world. She walked runways for designers such as Armani, Calvin Klein, and uh, Emmanuel Angaro, her, one of her biggest clients was Vera Wang. She's also done lots of commercial and beauty campaigns for L'Oreal and Clairol, as well as ads for Nespresso and TV commercials. She's literally enjoyed over two decades of her career and studied acting as well. She's an actress. As I mentioned, she lived in Los Angeles for a hot minute, but mostly New York City, her base. And also, she got married a year before the pandemic. She's also uh, currently exploring floral design and planning on launching her own business, catering to fashion shoots and events, and also the dream to grow her own flowers. Very multi-talented, and we're very excited to welcome her live and direct from Hudson Valley in New York. So that's north of New York City. She's been getting a little snow where she is, and we have two. Uh, we're in the New York area too, New York, New Jersey, and uh, Connecticut on the southern New England coast, and uh, it's a little snow here too, kind of nice on a Saturday. And there she is, Cindy joins us here live from New York. Cindy, hey, welcome to the Gym Masters Show Live. How are you today? Good. How are you, Jim? I am absolutely awesome. It's been such a busy day. I was on a television news shoot early in the morning for several hours and then ran back here and did an earlier show with a guest and then uh, had some quick dinner and we are here with you and absolutely love it. Uh, getting a little snowy are there in the Hudson Valley, huh? I'm over it. <laughs> <laughs> You've had um, enough. Yeah. You've had your share. <laughs> I really am, but you know. Yeah. But it's, hey, it's it's part of the whole thing, I guess, right? <laughs> There's a lot more coming. It's, you know, it's cold until April. It's, it's cold. Yeah. It's, it's been interesting this year, a little bit more than uh, normal, I think. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, so how have you been during all this craziness? You know, we, we mentioned to some of the folks that are watching, it's been a crazy time for all of us. And, you know, you've been uh, a model and an actress and you've worked with so many incredible people over the years and, and really amazing things, projects, traveled the world. Uh, how have you been during all of this time? And congratulations, you got married just before the pandemic. Yeah, can you believe that? That was like amazing Good timing, timing because everything <laughs> shut down right after. Yeah. 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 I was really happy. Um, yeah, it's been great. I mean, wow, I think during the pandemic, a lot of people really 
became reflective and I got to reflect on, like you said, mentioned all the things that I got to do. So, um, yeah, I've been, it's been great. Everything's been, I'm happy things are starting to settle down and things are opening again. And, you know, the numbers are going down with the COVID. Yes. Um, I didn't get COVID by the way. Did you? No, I did not. I know people who have, Yeah. but you know, I did a lot of uh, working out of the house. I would able to broadcast out of the house this series, you know, we've been able to do, you know, in a comfortable setting uh, as well. And I was able to do like the radio shows that are one of the hats I wear, you know, from the house, which has been really yeah. um, a blessing. But now, you know, with the television work and I did, you know, I, I work in television regularly. It's just that some of the shoots weren't, we weren't flying overseas and other places we normally would go. Um, and so it was much more in studio and stuff, but even in the studios, it was like, you know, dead silence. Now, right. It's, it's, uh, people are back in action and things are getting better and, uh, we are really, you know, happy about that. Uh, yeah, but a, me too. Definitely an interesting time, huh? Yeah, for sure. Hmm. Yeah. How did it and, impact you as far as your work? Did everything well, stop? Yeah. A lot of things stopped. Um, but the beauty of it too, was that things, they started doing more, um, online castings and stuff, which was kind yes, of Yes. Like there's the self tapes, right? Yeah, like I'm a, a big fan of the self-submit tapes because then you don't have to trek in and like, you know, um, yeah. go around the city, especially when it's cold like this. So I'm a big fan of the self-submissions. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Which um, is really cool. But yeah, things did slow down quite a bit, but you know, they're starting to pick up again, I think. Yeah. People Joan are says, hello. Hi, Jim and love it. He's glad to see you all. And uh, Babette is here, Thompson. We decided to make your show tonight our date night. That's Marty, Marty oh, and Babette. Hi guys. <laughs> yes, and Marty's here as well. Good day, hey. mate, and all the lovelies. I'm so happy to see my friend Cindy. Oh, me too. It's been a long time. Yes, Marty's in uh, Nashville. And I and know. Babette. I, I want to go there so bad. Well, this sounds good, huh, Cindy? Ooh, White wine, have? Irish cheese, and Jim Masters live show doesn't get better oh, than that. <laughs> Ooh, I love it. Joan welcomes you as well to uh, the Jim oh, Masters show you, live, Jim. which is really nice. Jane's watching in Sweden. She welcomes you as wow, well. Thank you. Really, really nice. Comments coming in here left and right. We'll show a few of these here. Uh, Linda O'Dell in Florida. Handsome as always, Jim. Oh, I like that one. Uh. Keep, keep that one up longer. <laughs> 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 you know, Got to take it where you can get it, right? <laughs> right. Thanks. I appreciate that. Linda O'Dell in Florida. Got some more coming in here as well. She also welcomes you to the Lovety Squad show. See that? Yeah, they're the Lovety Squad. The Lovety Squad. Isn't that isn't that cool? I was telling Very you cool. about the Loveties uh, and what it's all about, and you were like, oh, "I really I'm love all that. about that." Isn't that great? Yeah. And in Southern California says, "I love my Lovety family." Oh, wow. uh, good evening, uh, Mr. Lovety. Good evening, Loveties. I made it. Yay! Toast coming in from Merlin. Um, and is watching now from New Mexico. That is cool. And really love that. And uh, nice, nice, nice. Jane's is looking really great tonight. Thank you very much. Jane mm -hmm. is sweet. I love that. Really, really nice. Merlin in Ontario, Canada. Hey, Cindy, welcome to Lovety Hall. You're now a Lovety. Yes, thank you. <laughs> You've worked all your life to be a Lovety. I tell you, it's, really amaz nice. it's an amazing thing, right? Jane says hello. And Ann and Sherry Larson in Kansas. Hello, everyone. Hope everyone has had a wonderful Saturday. Absolutely. Merlin's back for her second show of the day. That's that's real loyalty as well. And mm -hmm. all the comments that are coming in, we'll check some more throughout. Um, so you grew up in Michigan, you know, outside yeah. gr greater Detroit. And uh, you were scouted uh, around high school time, which was yeah. really amazing. What they have like scouts that came into the area and then you had to go and apply or addition? How did it all happen for you early on? Yeah, it's a funny story because I was not at all interested or even thought I could be a model. So my friend was interested. She kind of dragged me to this event or a bunch of events, actually. There was, you know, you grew up in the Midwest. There's lots of modeling things coming through town, like, uh, and beauty pageants and this and that. And so she actually dragged me to this 
what was called like a, a model's open call. And I went with her as a friend to sort of support her. And actually I got discovered and I was so like uh, taken aback because I, I had no idea I could be a model. Like I said, you've got everything and would you like to come to this event? So from after the open call, I was invited to another event where, you know, they sort of walked you down this runway and they had all these agents from New York City there. Does your friend still talk to you? <laughs> I know everyone said that. And she, did. she was very happy for me, actually. She was Good. Like, that's friend. that's a real friend. Yeah. And we realized, too, that, like, you know, most models, you have to be a certain height. So it wasn't, yes. you know. I was the right height and the right size. And like, I don't think, you know, beauty pageants are a bit different, but for modeling is very specific. And so, like I said, I was really shocked that I had the potential as they would say. Yes. So but I did need a lot of grooming. Like I, you know, I did get an agent from that one open call and uh, they said, when can you come to New York city? And I was like, just graduated from high school. I was like, right, right away. <laughs> And so, yeah, I got scooped up and went to New York. That is incredible. And never and, looked back. And never looked back. Kathleen Walker's from New York City. She says, hi, Cindy, and oh, welcome. Yay. Hi, Thank Jim you. and everyone. Uh, Marty Thompson just did our super chat. We love that. That's available during the live yeah. shows in chat. Helps support our series. Marty's so good with that. And yeah. uh, those who have done that, we really appreciate that. You are definitely duly noted and real faithful lovities. Uh, Marty says, good day, Cindy. You haven't changed a bit since the uh, South Miami beach days. Yeah. It's been that's so really long nice. since we've caught up. So tell yeah. us that's, that's fascinating. Thanks, Marty. Tell us yeah. about the, uh, South Miami beach days. Oh, those are the best. Well, basically, you know, South beach, and I think it still is, is a pretty big hub. You know, a lot of fashion shoots happen. Oh down yeah. There. Um, but you know, living in New York, I was so excited as a model to like get a booking down in South beach and actually would go down for the winter and just hang out there and go castings there. I'm like, can I just stay here? And yeah. that's, yeah. And so, yeah, that's where, um, I met Marty and yeah, we had so much fun there. Like it's such a fun place. He's a pip, isn't he? He's a real uh, spunky, go-getter, funny, you know? I know. And I can't wait energy. to meet his wife. I'm going to come I and bet. Oh, you haven't met? No. Yeah. Uh, yeah. No, we haven't met, but yeah. soon. I'm, I'm sure you will. I'm going to get over to Nashville. I've never been to Nashville. Is that crazy? Of all the places I've been, I'm, that's one place I want to go. Marty says, was that the model search that I opened for with a few songs? Maybe. Yeah, I think. Well, no, actually, that came later. My I, I was actually the one I was at. Um, he didn't perform, but I have seen him perform at some of these. At some uh, of these. Yeah. Terry Ann says, good evening, Jim. It's all the loveties and welcome, Cindy, as well. Thank you. So what was it like for you, you know, high school and then all yeah. of a sudden you get picked to do this? And was the family receptive? Was everybody like... Oh, this is great. Or were they, did they have other thoughts and plans for you at that, you know, age too? I think we were all shocked. I think my, my family was shocked. My mom was a bit nervous about it, you know, so young. Um, but they were excited. And, you know, at the same time, it's like that kind of opportunity does, you know, doesn't really come that often. So, um, yeah, it was great because, I think my boyfriend at the time in high school had just broken up with me. So it was like. <laughs> rotten was like, timing, rotten decision there, huh? I was like, if so they long. could see me now. Da, 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 da. <laughs> exactly. Oh. I was like, see you later. That's I'm it. Here. I'm out of here. See crest out. <laughs> yeah, that's right. So uh, were you nervous at all going to New York back then or was it, and it was, it was like the mid nineties, right? So yeah, um, I mean, or were you very excited? It was, it was definitely a culture shock, but you know, I was living under my parents' roof before I moved there. So I was very excited Yeah, to, like yeah. be out of their home <laughs> and like 
living on my own and like going to such a big city straight up, you know, where right most to, of my friends are going to college. Right and, there at the know, Big Apple. Really in the Big Apple, it was like kind of, yeah, overwhelming, but very exciting. So when you arrived, what was it like for you? Uh, did a job, a modeling job come right away or did you have to wait a little bit? And, and then yes. I did have to wait a little bit, but I didn't tell my parents that because yeah. they would have been like, like, come back home. Exactly. Um, well, also for me, it wasn't like, you know, I wasn't a natural at it. Like I had to learn how to be comfortable in front of the camera. You know, I didn't have any sort of, it's so interesting because I think people think you have to go to modeling school because there's tons of modeling schools out there. And I think yeah. they're helpful, but that's not necessarily true. Right. Like, you don't have to. I think it's helpful, but it's not, you know, required. You don't have to, basically. Right. It's not a, it's not a must. It's not something that you have to do. Yeah. Um, so what was the very first modeling job for you that, was you know just that particular job came your way that gig came your way and that was really a good thing because it set things in motion for you well what really sticks out for me is like you know once you get to new york you have an agent you know they they want to build your portfolio right so you have right. to do all these test shoots all these photos yeah yeah and um while i was going through that process like all these photos were coming back and i kind of looked like a deer caught in the headlights. Like I just didn't, it took a minute before, you know, to I get got comfortable to with yeah. all the flash uh, of the camera and pose here and tilt your head there and do all exactly. that. Exactly. So that took some time, you know, they call that stage development and, yeah. you know, they were really great in developing me, but they also sent me on my first modeling assignment to Japan. Wow. I know. And I was like, okay. And there, I really, it was talk about culture shock because like New York City is one thing, but Tokyo is like, you know, Blade Hold Runner. On. Yeah, it's like, right. <laughs> Whole like, other world, right? Exactly. Yeah. But it was really awesome. I did tons of campaigns there and like, you know, um, I went on a contract. So you're guaranteed a certain amount of work. And I think it was a really good way to break into it, to be honest. Because, you know, after that, when I came back, then they sent me to Europe for all the fashion shows. Um, and I think Japan, their work ethic is so, like, intense. It's incredible. Yeah, it? it's kind of actually really good training, yeah. you know? Yeah, right, exactly, mm. right. Yeah. And, and so what did you learn from that while you were there? Well, I was just, like, I didn't have time to really, I just, you know, I had like a translator and like people sending me on like 12 castings a day. And I, I just kind of didn't have time, time to like, I had to just do it. You know what I mean? It was like, I had to like step into it. And I think that was really great for me to like, not be able to think too much about it and just do it. <laughs> and just get in there and dive yeah. in and have fun with it and, and learn and, pick up tips and, and just exactly get, get and the, the job done. Yeah. The culture is so amazing. They're so, um, what's the word? They're just so like honorable. Like they, yeah. they're very, you know what I mean? They're, yeah. they, they were so respectful of, you know, since I didn't speak the language and like before I went on a job, they'd, and modest too because they'd be like oh they're gonna have to see your bare shoulder is that okay and like you know yeah like really respectful there and so i really well, appreciated that too, whole other, yeah a whole other mm -hmm. way of, of doing it and operating which i think is terrific when yeah. you went to japan merlin in canada was asking did you have a chaperone yeah kind of i mean like we did have someone take us around but then you know there is the nightclub scene in, in Japan that, you know, you got all these girls from coming from Europe and America and we're all there and working as models. And like, so we definitely didn't have a chaperone going to those kinds of things, but we were invited to those kinds of things, you know? So that was a lot of fun because we go to this um, part in Tokyo called Rapungi and it was like, 
you know. Very cool, huh? Really super cool. Yeah. So and what I happened from there? Which, you know, with the Japan, I mean, did things really start rolling in Japan for you? I think it just really, for me, broke me into the business. And then yeah. when I came back, I was like more like a pro, you know, You're like, and from there, because elite really grooms, you know, like supermodels and you what have what a, an amazing yeah. one to be a part of, huh? Yeah. I was really lucky that they made that choice for me. Cause I probably would have been like, Oh, I think I'll hang out in South beach forever, <laughs> you know, <laughs> but they were like, no, you're going here, you know? And, and I'm so happy. I, I listened to them. Mm. Linda says she always wondered how all, how the models handled all those different poses. Yeah. It's, you learn, you, you learn your own repertoire. I mean, there is basic stuff, but you know, I think everyone's got their own angles. Like you said, that look best on them. And you kind uh, of the shoots long out. sometimes long days. Oh yeah. 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 Long days. That's why I said in Japan, it was great. Cause they like, they, they had knew. such a strong work, work ethic. You would shoot like 12 outfits, you know, yeah. and, in an hour get it all hour. done yeah <laughs> right don't have to keep you guys there forever right exactly no but they would keep us because we'd shoot thousands but i'm just saying oh like, you were I got, thousands <laughs> <laughs> i got used but to wait, that Jim, so. thousands that's 12 an hour but thousands <laughs> <laughs> yeah but i got used to you know working hard so when i came back to america it was like oh like things are a little more chill here like you know they don't work you as hard Sort of piece of cake, like yeah. yeah. Once once you did that, it was sort of like a training, almost like a, a boot camp in boot a way. Camp. To, model yeah. boot camp. Yeah. Model boot camp. So when you did come back to the states, what happened there for you with that training, that experience in Japan? Um, were people waiting for you here? Things started rolling. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Um, like I said, they started each. Uh, fall winter i would go to europe and do the circuit there meaning milan paris london and you know they really wanted you to get out there and do all the fashion shows mm -hmm. that's how you got your name out there and stuff like mm -hmm. that so i would do that like twice a year but yeah it's mostly based in new york city like you said so the you did the fashion shows was was print involved as well Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. print jobs as well yeah so what i mentioned in the beginning uh when i was introducing you some of the names that you've had the pleasure of representing and working for tell us about some of those experiences i mean some really yeah. elite names in the yeah. industry yeah my favorite and i worked with her a long time is vera wang she mm. does all the beautiful wedding gowns and stuff um she was amazing. We we worked and did a lot. I did her bridal campaign. I did all her shows. Um, I don't know if you, you should follow her on Instagram. She's she's really she's dressing everybody on the red carpet these days. Um, she's really awesome designer. Mm. Such an honor to work with her. Mm. And she's hilarious. She's so yeah, awesome. it'd be great to have her as a guest on the show. How cool yeah. would that be, huh? Yeah. Babette says, uh, Cindy, you are beautiful inside as well as out. How did you manage to stay grounded in the environment? So many beautiful oh, women lose themselves in the industry. Absolutely. Thank you for that wonderful compliment. Um, yeah, I did, you know, struggle a lot. But honestly, like most models, like fellow models were so supportive. I think because everyone's so young when they start out and everyone's coming from a different place, usually like small towns, you know, that everyone's kind of just freaked out and scared. So everyone's like all the, my fellow comrades or colleagues, they were really like allies, you know, they, I didn't feel any sort of cattiness or anything weird. So I did feel um, support from the other models, to be honest. I think people wonder, like, you know, are you uh, pulling each other's hair? And <laughs> yeah, I mean, that stuff does happen. You do see say, that go down. I was but... gonna say that that actually does happen. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. 
Because actually, you know that show, what is that show, Top Model or whatever? I've watched a few episodes just to see if it's like any truth to it. And I'm like, oh my gosh, like some of it's pretty true. Especially some of it's true, yeah. Well, yeah, because like they would put all of us in one apartment, you know, like especially when you're starting out and you haven't, you know, made mm-hmm. your money to get your own place. You You start off living with other models and mm-hmm. things, you know teenage girls you just <laughs> things get a little crazy yeah, it gets a little <laughs> crazy yeah. yeah which is funny it's interesting you know how some of those stories are really they're accurate <laughs> yeah but yeah but i'm like can... i almost couldn't watch it because it was bringing me back to like i was like oh no <laughs> i'm like we're back in seventh grade again <laughs> yeah, I'm like, oh, I'm so glad. I was so happy to move out of the model's apartment when I could because, oh, yeah, yeah, it was kind of a nightmare. And I grew up, you know, with sisters, so I'm yeah. used to, you know. Did any of them go into this world at all of uh, entertainment or, you know, acting? No, or, and my mom's like, thank God, because she always worries <laughs> about me. She's like, no, yeah, just me. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Want to say hi to anybody that might be watching? Probably got a lot of friends and family that are watching live or they'll I watch this later so. in the archives, hi, huh? Everybody. Hey, everybody yeah. <laughs> from New York and Michigan and Michigan, all over. Exactly. LA, hopefully. LA, the LA crowd. We welcome you to the Gymnaster Show Live. Jane, one of our faithful lovers, is watching in Sweden. And she says, Cindy, working as a model is a hard yeah. job. You are you allowed to eat whatever you want or are you told what you can and can't eat and drink? Oh, yes. You definitely have to keep a certain weight. Luckily, I have good genes. I didn't have to try too hard. I really did feel for, you know, girls that weren't naturally thin because actually in fashion modeling, they really want you to be a stick. Yeah. You know, and I think you nowadays it's better like in the like late 90s it was really it was that was they really looked trending. Almost, people were thinking that some were ill and all too remember remember that wafy look or whatever yeah, that was yeah. so popular the heroin chic that thing. washed out sort of yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah luckily i didn't get involved with any drugs or or have right. to like diet like crazy enhancements was, or any of that stuff right yeah You're right. no I was, blessed to be naturally thin um yeah you know now as i'm getting older i have to watch what i eat of course and work out but i love working out actually so you've always been conditioned to do that you've always enjoyed doing that exactly yeah which is which is perfect so you have that already set up um yeah merlin in canada says have do you have a favorite gown and was your wedding gown a vera wang Oh my gosh, everyone asked that because I, it was so funny because I was like in so many of her wedding dresses for so long that I'm like, I'm not even going to wear a, we- <laughs> a Vera Wang wedding dress because I've been in so many. So many of them, it doesn't stand yeah. out only for you, particularly only because you've been in so many. Exactly. Not that they're not incredible, just that you've been in so many for yourself. Totally. I'm actually yeah. a real um, fan of her ready to wear collection, which is like her normal line. Mm-hmm. She's got a lot of beautiful things and she's always been like any events that I would have, she would lend me stuff, you know? Um, so that was kind of great to have that, you know, like not happen to yeah. like buy them. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Cause you I only mean, wear them once anyways. Right. And then that's it. Right. Yeah. <laughs> now you, as I mentioned, you walked, the runways for designers such as Armani, Calvin Klein, Emmanuel yeah. Angaro, and which is really incredible. Tell us about that, working with those guys. Amazing. So much fun. I, I was like, actually, the first time I booked the Armani show, my younger sister had was visiting me in Milan. And I always tell her this. I was like, you are my good luck charm. Because she was like, something about having family there when, you know, going to castings and stuff. Maybe I just was happy and that's why I got hired. I don't know, but like, but she was able to see me at the show and it was really cool. Um, yeah, I love doing runway. It's so exciting. Yeah. Huh? It's so fast. It's just a whirlwind. I know like, sometimes people ask, do the models get a chance to just like with actresses and actors, do you get a chance to keep any of the clothes? 
sometimes I have had some outfits, but you know, these designers, you're talking some of their clothes are like 20,000, you know, it's like, yeah. Yeah. And they're paying you a really decent day rate. So usually not, you know, just usually like going not. to the Tonys or Grammys or Oscars where everybody's wearing all this, you know, $200,000 bracelet, all that stuff. And then yes. they end up giving it back to the jeweler or designer. They it really was- do. Yeah. Cause you, you just normally wear that stuff once anyways. Um, but you know, I have gotten some perks as far as like, clothing at some shoots but mostly not yeah mostly not did you have a preference uh runway versus print work yeah actually i like the runway i like the live stuff because it's like it's exciting it's fast you're like you do it and then you're done where a photo shoot it's not as glamorous it's like you know you're in the studio and it takes longer. It's a little bit more grueling where a runway show, you're like hanging out with the other girls backstage for most of it. And the show is like 10 minutes long and you're done. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? It's like, yeah. And that's that right? exactly right. But all the adrenaline too, like before you walk and then just like something to be said about strutting down the catwalk. It's like fun. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Yeah. You You've also, go out there and own it, you know? You've got to own it, exactly. So what's really going on behind the scenes? You have the runway that comes out. Everybody lined up around, photographers and, yeah. and uh, magazine editors, writers, and then others. Um, and then there, of course, is the wall and everybody's back there. Is it like a real scurry? People trying to put stuff on quick and, oh, where I need that. Where's the top? And it's, is it crazy back there? It's insane back there. You have <laughs> no idea. <laughs> it's like being part of a circus or something, right? Oh, totally. And there's always some kind of drama. That's why that model show is pretty accurate. There's just designers freaking out, like yelling for stuff like getting dressed and like trying to make it look perfect and like yeah we're coming in and out so fast that you know you gotta hop in these outfits and look perfect and have all the accessories done it's wild yeah marty thank you very much he also did a a super chat here nice green color love that color so it rises to the top and we celebrate the comment and everybody sees it here And Marty says, Cindy was always a humble and sweet person in a world of fashion and glam. I never forgot the time. I was excited to see her on Manhattan Billboard. Oh, yes. Yes. Tell us about Uh that, huh? Yeah, that was pretty exciting. Thank you, Marty. Up in lights. Yes. Yeah, that was pretty awesome to have a billboard. Finally. (laughs) It's like I said, it took a minute. Um, But yeah, I did an ad for Nespresso and... And it was really a tight, actually, headshot. And at the time, I had, like, shorter hair, and they were, like, sort of looking for an Amelie character. So I kind of had that look. Um, but, yeah, there was my giant face, like, in Soho. I was, like, walking down the street, and it was, like, you know, a billboard. Did and you know what was going to be there, or did you happen to no. see it? Right. Yeah, so it was kind of wild to, you know, not know and finally see it. Oh, um, I, yeah, I had that once. I was a spokesperson for a uh, like a home remodeling show. I did all the commercials. I did the radio. I was the voice on the radio. I was the uh, on location correspondent. I was on the my, I was on the tickets when you went to the convention center. I was yeah. on the tickets. You know, with the microphone as like the reporter on all, and then the television commercials as well. And yeah. then I started getting calls from colleagues of mine uh, at public television. They were driving by um, one of the cities and they're like, oh, are you on a billboard? I said, what? Are you on a billboard? I said, where? Oh, uh, and this was in Connecticut. This was actually in Hartford, right. on 91 and 84, oh the cross God. section. And they're like, yeah. we're going, we're driving home from work and we're seeing you on the billboard. Nice. And I'm like, really? Could you take a picture? I want to see. And yeah. they had, they did billboards as part of their campaign, but I never knew. Wow. And yeah. how they, it, some, it was cool. I got pictures it is of it. Cool, it was, yeah. It's, and it's funny, right? They don't tell you. That I had no idea. I was, yeah. I, 
I didn't even know I was going to be on the ticket. They did a full campaign. Like, I guess they had me yeah. sort of as the spokesperson for the whole thing, thematically nice. branding wise, which was very, very cool. Yeah. And wow. so, and we did these commercials where I was in front of the convention center. We did them about a month in advance yeah. and they were a countdown. Only three weeks until the big home show. They're going to have all this and that, and then we shot another one. Okay, now it's only one week, and now it's you know five days, and it's yeah. today, and it was written and aired at all the television stations. Just really, really cool stuff, and yeah. and you never know, yeah, you never know uh, where it's happening or how it's happening, but when it does, it's it's something extra special, huh? Absolutely, yeah. I think it was that same ad was like on the side of a bus too. It was so yeah, it was fun. you're driving by and like, wait, did I just see myself on a bus? <laughs> <laughs> Let me go down into the subway. I bet I'm there on the wall there too. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You also have done a lot of commercial and beauty campaigns for L'Oreal and Clairol. That's Tell right. us about that. Yeah, it was funny because um, I never thought that I could book all these hair jobs. And now you can see I have funny colored hair. I'm always booking hair jobs. So yeah, I did. It was like on a hair color box for L'Oreal and Clairol. Um, so, yeah, you know, I'd get a lot of calls from friends. I saw you at the drugstore. Is this you? <laughs> I'm coloring my hair with your, with hazelnut. Was <laughs> <laughs> That's right. That's yeah. funny. But, yeah. but really a cool experience, right? No, it's great. Yeah. Yeah. I bet the it's, family back home in Michigan were excited when some of these larger things were happening for you. Absolutely. Yeah. Family was really excited. You know, my mom was, you know, when she realized, wow, she's not coming back and she's actually earning a living doing this. And you she's know, got her thing going. Yep. So, but she would collect, she still has photos of every job I did. <laughs> Does your mom do that? Like my mother would stuff? actually record either on DVR or even prior on VHS yeah. when I was on television, when I was hosting or doing commercials and, and sometimes it'd be on for several okay. hours and I have <laughs> all of those tapes. That's so amazing. <laughs> she, she gave yeah. them to me and I have them in a storage bin, you know, like kind of controlled with my TV career tapes and photos and stuff. So Aren't those great to have. Thank, thank God for our moms. Like I have and my that. father too. My father. Yeah. I was on the public television station in New York um, and would, would, we were just on and then we were doing some sort of like a post uh, segment because we were on live. Yeah. We were doing some segments and then we went back to the show. So in between, we went into sort of like this huddle area with the producer and we were talking about what we were going to talk about next. And one of the producers came running in and said, oh my God. We just got this call from one of the management at PC Richard and Son, which if those in the New York, New Jersey, Connecticut area knows is yeah. one of the largest, if not the largest television and electronics and computer appliance chain yep. with many, many right. stores and legendary business. And we were told that they have put all of their TVs in all of their stores on our station and they're watching and they're loving what Jim Masters is doing. And now this oh, was one of the first times I was doing, actually I was doing some freelance work. So yeah. the impressing for me was still happening. And I'm like, my really? Wow. That's I really, <laughs> that's that's cool. That's incredible. I can't believe it. Yeah. So I go home um, to dinner with the family out east on Long Island. And I said, you know, you'll never believe what happened at the station today. And they said, what? They said, I said, we got this call from a, somebody at PC Richard and Son. And they told the producers that all of the TVs were placed on the channel that we were on. And I looked at my father and my father had his head down. Very unusual for him because always charismatic, expressive, funny. And he wasn't saying anything. And then I said, 
dad, did you have anything to do with that? <laughs> he did when he was in there. Uh, you know, he had actually worked many years in, you know, uh, in management roles, upper management roles with that company. Uh -huh. So when he was there with them at that time, he had them put all of the televisions and all of their many locations on wow. the TV station I was on. Oh my God. And I'm like, wow, dad, that's, <laughs> you know, that's no, so dad. cool. Right. <laughs> and he wasn't going to say anything. He got found out, but yes. he wasn't going to say anything. That's adorable. That's so cool. <laughs> you know, that's the kind of stuff that you can't script. You, you really can't script. Right. Yeah. Wow. yeah. You yeah. can't script that stuff. We it. actually have some cool shots here. Look at this. Oh yeah. Yeah. What, what was this for? This was actually a test shoot. That was like what I was telling you when they were building my portfolio, I would do various test shoots. And that was from one of those. That's yeah. fantastic. Really, really nice. Austin Field watching another great show. Please subscribe for excellent content to enjoy. Thank you, Austin mm -hmm. Field. I appreciate that. Good to see you here tonight. And yeah, we would love it if everybody subscribed, subscribe. They should all subscribe. Right, Cindy? <laughs> support the channel um some more coming in here we go oh look at this shot this, that's a cool one what was this oh, for cindy thank you. that was um the same test shoot that you was know. the same yeah, one the same photographer on that michael cray yeah really nice look at that yeah. one. Oh yeah that's just actually that's um for this shop it's like kind of a catalog shot but um my friend she designs all those clothes it was for her store mm. yeah babette says uh cindy if you and your hubby yeah. ever make it to nashville marty and i would love Yay. to take you to the hot spots oh, and honky tonkin have you ever gone honky tonkin no it sounds awesome though <laughs> <laughs> yeah. that's right Yay. strap in strap in the thompsons yes. are taking your honky tonkin uh, it's a lot of cool. fun. Here. Thank and, you. And Linda says, that's truly amazing about your dad having you on all the televisions. So cool. That's I agree. So great, yeah. That was really nice. Yeah. And here's a great shot here too. Sort of oh, that hints of thinking. What were you thinking about? Actually, this was taken for this makeup artist. Um, oh, I forget her name. But she had me take that shot because she did the makeup on that. Yeah. Oh, that's really nice. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes you know, when you have a makeup artist, they want to take a shot to exactly. see how that makeup came out. Mm -hmm. uh, and also sometimes it's for their own portfolio as well. Exactly. So yeah. To show the work is another yeah. cool one. What was this for? Again, they, they have us do Polaroids and stuff. Um, so that was for a swimsuit. You know, they always have to have you in a swimsuit for it's various, always part of yeah. various things as so. well. And the, yeah, same with these, like, this is kind of what a modeling agent will, we have, you have to come in and we have to get a picture of you in your swimsuit, but they would do it like every, every month. It seemed, you know, Yeah. really, I think they're just checking your weight and all that. I just want to see <laughs> like, you know what my... your pictures. I'm like, you guys are making sure. To you get just want to write. <laughs> yeah. I, you know what, my favorite one, I think of those four, and they're all fantastic, oh, is the one on the bottom left. Oh, and thank just you. That, that, it's just a very pleasant, well, innocent, thanks. sort of wholesome, <laughs> friendly, Midwestern yeah. feel to it, you know, thank just very you. like, hi, I'm, I'm Cindy, how are you? It's just <laughs> a really nice, I mean, like a really nice, pure shot of you directly your eyes are popping oh, thanks. the way the yeah. hair sort of it's just a really nice it's very expressive it doesn't even look it doesn't look posed it looks like they said your name and you just turned around oh yeah. hi hi bob it's good to see you type thing right yeah it's just really nice i did some modeling too early on uh with some of the agencies on long island i should i should show so i should have showed some of those tonight uh you and brought all, those in all kinds of different show. looks and shots <laughs> my hair wasn't like this it was a lot shorter of course yeah. this this was a pandemic project yeah here's a cool shot what oh yeah that for? was for a golf magazine which was so funny because my friend plays golf and he was like you don't 
hold it like that on a, I don't know, I guess I'm clearly not a golfer. <laughs> I'm doing something totally wrong in that shot. That but, is yeah. funny. <laughs> that is funny. But that's, hey, that's where the acting 101 comes in, right? Yeah, exactly. That's where the yeah. acting comes in. That's the uh, oh, there's yeah, that's one of your wings gown, one of her fashion Vogue shows. runway. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think somebody asked if you ever did Versace work too at all. No, I wish I did Versace, that was a little before my time. Um, yeah, but yeah, I know. I just watched that documentary. Um, yeah, wasn't that good? Yeah, it's very good, very eye opening and revealing, yeah. and just very, very special another great one where was this oh wow. thank you yeah that wasn't too that was probably um that was actually five years ago but mm -hmm. it was you know i did because of vera wang i booked a lot of bridal shows for different designers and i think this designer is actually out of australia um but it was in new york city but yeah beautiful gown right mm, really really yeah. nice yeah really nice look at that too Sixfold. Yeah. Tell us about this yeah. one. Oh, that was a campaign um, for tote bags. <laughs> was that shot in New York? Yeah. Can't you tell? Yeah. Like, yes. It's got, street. yeah, it has that, right. The brick wall and yeah. sort of one of those delivery like platforms. Somewhere and, in Tribeca. Yeah. Tribeca. Yeah. It's always fun to do a shoot in New York City because it's like you kind of have an audience because there's so many people and they're like, cars cool. going by and you just have to another vogue Tell oh us about yes this. that was the betsy johnson show oh i love doing that show do you know that oh. designer betsy johnson she's like super rock and roll and like, oh yeah 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 absolutely yeah. yeah so what was that like that was so much fun she and is that is that like a hat on your head tell us about what's up on your head yeah they like that's cool i don't even remember what they did but they had to like tease my hair and put in like all this uh, tool, like it was like, yeah, some crazy hair and makeup on that shoot. <laughs> mm. That was a fashion show actually, yeah. Really nice. I remember she had all the um, candy backstage because she likes candy and so there was like tons of Skittles and like. Oh, wow. Um, Skittles? Yeah, like think? Skittles and Twizzlers and candy. So all the stuff like, that you're not supposed to technically have, right? Exactly. <laughs> But she's smart because we were all eating it and we were all amped up. And I think that helped because she had us like dance on the runway and we were all sugared out. <laughs> exactly. So you're, you're, yeah, you're, you're spunky and the energy is there to keep going, right? <laughs> totally. That is yeah, that was a fun show. Funny. Oh, oh yeah. Cool. I remember doing this ad. It was for some like dating app or something. Um, for Instagram, mm. someone is starting a dating app. Yeah, yeah. That's cool. That's a cool yeah. <laughs> All kinds of jobs. Variety is a spice of life, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. That shoot this was great. This is too. L, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And yeah. what was this? That's a cool one. It looks, you know, it looks sort of retro a little bit. It does. Because that's like the 60s, time, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah. 60s hair was in. Yeah. And those uh, slacks, you know, the jeans, that yep. sort of. Yeah. yeah. That is cool. So you yeah. get to you get to try on a lot of different things and and you know make them your own. Yeah. Motor City, of course. That's Detroit. me representing Detroit. Any of my Detroit friends out here? Where was uh, <laughs> this? What was this one for? This campaign. This actually was another shoot I did right after I got married because um, they you know you always have to freshen up your portfolio and stuff and yeah I was like just happily married and did a photo shoot. And that was right then like mm. before the pandemic. <laughs> right before, right. Yes. Yeah. Rini Katz. Welcome, Rini. Nothing like uh, lovely hellos to make a person feel loved. You are very welcome. Mm -hmm. uh, Joan says, beautiful gown, one of the gowns, but most importantly, beautiful model. Oh, very thank nice. You. Yes. The person makes the clothes, right? Absolutely yeah look at that one wow yeah what was this same shoot same it was the shoot. same shoot huh mm -hmm. really great mm -hmm. really nice cool yeah. same shoot as well just oh, yeah. different outfits wow yeah, exactly 
Yeah. Thank Terrific. you. <laughs> so, wow. You were working it that day, huh? I was working it that day. <laughs> yeah. 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 Interesting designs too. Yeah. Colors and. Yeah. That's a great shot. Oh yeah. Thank you. Yeah. I use that a lot. For acting too. That was a good shot. And a unique look too, which I think is great because unique, you know, uh, right now, actually now more than ever is very in vogue. Mm. You know, I think it was your mother, Korean and your father, German, Irish, right? Yeah. A wonderful combination. You can see oh, you. all in your face and bone structure and the eyes and everything. Oh, thank you. Yeah. It's a great combination. Yeah. This is another great shot. Thanks. Yeah. It was funny how they casted me because, you know, I wasn't Asian, but I wasn't white and you know, in a lot of commercials that really benefited me because I could like play like the mystery, like I could be Latin or I could sort be sort of nondescript, yeah. right? Yeah. What do they call it? There's a name for it that they multicultural or yeah, yeah. right, exactly. Uh American Salon. Oh yeah, I did the cover. So when people went to get their hair done, they picked yeah. up the magazine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there you are. That's a cool shot, huh? Wow. They actually cut my hair like that because everyone's like, was that a wig? And I'm like, unfortunately not. <laughs> yeah. I had to have that <laughs> stupid haircut and I hated it. <laughs> it's a great shot. Yeah. No, it's great. And, and it's like a blunt cut or something they call that. Like, yeah. It's a bowl cut. Oh, you a bowl. Know? <laughs> and it's like, yeah. at, and it gave me like, you know, because when I was younger, every Asian mom gives their kid that haircut. <laughs> Boys and girls. Boys and girls. And I was like, this haircut is haunting me. I can't get away from it. <laughs> <laughs> that is funny. Oh, but it's cute there, actually. Now looking back, I was like, it's a cute haircut. Actually, yeah, it stands out. I think, yeah. it, I mean, you, you wear it well. Thank you. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Wow, that's incredible, huh? No, oh, thanks. You had to work hard for that, huh? Did you not eat for a year? <laughs> <laughs> no, like I said, I've been like. But you've I've always, always been fit and active. I've and, always worked uh, out. I've always health been health conscious, out. and which yeah. is, which even, is fun. Yeah, even in high school, I always was like on the track team. Yes, know, which is like perfect. Very into, um, you yeah. probably didn't lay out in the sun either. Not so much, no. Yeah. Which yeah. is you're lucky, which is good because so many people did. They thought that yeah. was that was the ultimate look, was the golden, right, unkissed brown, and yeah, yeah. Maybe then when you're 18, but then when you're no, 50 exactly. or <laughs> yeah. whatever, 80 or 40, uh, it starts yeah. to make itself known. There's a great shot. Oh, cool, thanks. What was this? This, um. Actually, what, when was that? I think this was a test shoot as well. Yeah, this part of a test shoot. Rini Katz is in Flushing, the Midlands of Flushing, as we call it. Going to my neighborhood for Korean oh, food. Yes. The neighborhood. Yes. Over I love towards, Korean food. Towards the Flushing area. Yeah, I do oh, too. Oh, yes. That, oh, I've heard. Yeah. The Flushing area. They have amazing Korean food there. One of the things I, one of the other shows of the other shows I host is a lifestyle travel mm -hmm. show when we go to all kinds of restaurants and get to yeah. try all different cultures and different foods and everything. And Korean is absolutely fantastic. It's really yeah. good Korean and barbecue. good for you too. Yeah. Yes. The barbecue. Kimchi. Kimchi is so good for you. Yes. Oh, here's the hair stuff again. Yeah. Like, which is yeah. great. I never had to pay for a haircut. I always get my hair done on on a photo shoot. <laughs> That's the you're right, exactly. Because that can get expensive. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Your hair and cut, That's a cool it. one. Yeah. It's another one, huh? Yeah. Mm, cool stuff. Tell us yeah. about the acting part too, because I know you know you love acting. And uh is that something yeah. that you still, you know, do dabble in, love, want to do even more of? Kind of, you know, I, I was more interested, I thought it would be a natural transition after modeling um, until I went to LA. I kind of actually got 
put off by it after living in LA and really going for it and realizing like what it takes and what you need. Um, but I did enjoy studying acting and I did do some plays in New York, which were really such a great experience to like, again, back to the live doing live stuff. Um, and it's funny because when you do live acting or if you if you do a play, I don't know if you've done any plays, it's like a completely different thing. Like, yeah, you know, than any acting class you could take. Yes. Right. Yes, absolutely. Um, so I was really happy to have that experience. Um, and I think it really helped, too, because like, you know, on commercial auditions, it's really good to have that, you know, range mm -hmm. and ability to feel good on camera live and like acting so yes. yeah i don't regret it babette said uh the ball cut that you were talking about uh -huh. that was the dorothy hamill yeah cut. I the dorothy hamill yeah had the yeah. same cut back in the day was <laughs> uh the in cut back then yeah. kind of like the rachel friends cut that right. was hot for a minute yeah it's back then that you you had a lot of that in the 80s and the 90s mm -hmm. uh, where like a lot, there was a period where all the girls wanted to dress like Madonna, remember? Right. Like they all wanted that. to be, and then the Dorothy Hamill look. And Dorothy Hamill, yeah. Yeah, so that was sort of like the Dorothy yeah. Hamill look. Yeah. yeah. Which is really, really cool. So, uh, you know, I mentioned, well, all this, you're still doing the modeling? Is that something that you're still immersed in? Not immersed so much, um, yeah. kind of, you know, here, and I'm not gonna turn down a modeling gig, you know, it's like, a bit but it is something I've done for a long time. Yes, you have. Well, yeah. And, and so I feel really fortunate that it, cause usually, you know, it's you're lucky. not as long a yeah, lifespan, it's pretty short lived, but again, the industry's changing. You're seeing yeah. a lot of older models out there right now. Yes. Right. Yes. You know, you're seeing different shapes and sizes, which is amazing. You know, more um, of like what everyday people look like sort exactly. of yeah. yeah you see that a lot in ads now too and voiceovers too mm -hmm. um as opposed to the announcers with uh, those voices they're using a lot of everyday sounds and everyday people yeah. versus the announcer you know for the coffee maker or something right. they have the announcer that would come in and do that and now they'll have like everyday sounds and everyday people coming in yeah you i know you also uh i mentioned you have a little uh, penchant for floral design, huh? Yeah, that's my something new you're thing. building on. Yeah. Tell us about it's, that. Especially after the whole COVID thing, you know, people, yeah, I just felt like I needed to do something creative and like, you know, get back to nature, which I got to do because, you know, I always had all this free time and like, Gardening was the number one thing that people did during the, yeah, height of the right? pandemic. They got out there and they started gardening. Like gardening and making. I, I've yeah, always done it on the side. It's, you know, yeah, and it's cooking. very therapeutic. <laughs> you did, yeah. Did, how much yeah. sourdough bread and all that did you make? <laughs> <laughs> That's right. People were making breads. Bread, yeah, and they were also eating their childhood favorites, like their childhood. Oh, you know, yeah. sweets Comfort and food. cereals yeah. and Captain Crunch. They were eating anything <laughs> that made them feel good. Yeah, I know. <laughs> no. Yeah. So that's really a new venture for me, but I'm really excited about it. Um, so how far do you want to take it? What is it that you wanted to sort of create your own business with it, right? Yeah. I want to do my own business and, you know, we're looking to buy property where I can actually grow them, like have a greenhouse, grow them. Oh, the that's ground. great. Yeah. And yeah, since I've been in fashion for as long as I have, it's, I would love to cater to, you know, that world because mm -hmm. I've been in it and like offer arrangements for shoots, you know, because a lot of times they need that. Um, and, you know, designers love flowers and, mm -hmm. you know, at their stores. And so, yeah, just a new. You, Rainey asks, do you want to do more plays? You know what? Why not? Yeah, I would actually, because like I said, that was an amazing experience. I should audition for some plays <laughs> since I'm in New York, you know? You're right there, it's right? Fun. Everything. Yeah. I One on every corner, there. just about. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> now, of course, we weren't able to do a lot of uh, 
traveling during the last two years as much as we normally would. But uh, do you love to travel? Like you I mentioned, do. or yeah. I mentioned that you've traveled around the world. Yeah. What are some of the places that you went to and what are some of your favorite places that you loved and wouldn't mind going back to? Yeah, I wouldn't mind going back to Southeast Asia, actually. Mm, yeah. That place was incredible. Um, I'd gone to Singapore one year to work and it was like Chinese New Year. So everything was shut down and I had the opportunity to like spend some time in Bali, which is an incredible, magical place. And Thailand, like all those countries to me were just paradise. I was like, oh, I could definitely come back here. Um, but as far as fashion modeling goes, it's like really it's Europe and New York that are kind of where they want you to go for your career. But there's all these secondary markets like um, Asia, Australia, yeah. yes. um, Greece. Um, so I did on my own go there because, you know, when you have an agent in New York, you can get an agent anywhere, really. Oh, right? absolutely. Yes. And they yeah. would hook that up for you. You know, they would make sure you had a contact there. Um, for example, I was like, I really want to go to Australia just to see it. And so, you know, my New York agent arranged me to meet with an agent there. So that was already set up for me when I went. Um, and I'm so happy that I took the initiative to do all that, you know, while I was young and just travel a lot, you know, and model yeah. all over the world. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Really incredible experiences that you probably wouldn't have had right you know the opportunity to do without this incredible modeling uh, career yeah no i was super fortunate and grateful mm. so. what would you recommend to somebody that's watching who's thinking to you know now these days because it has changed a lot yeah uh going into it who's watching you and saying oh i know her work i've seen her in all these different magazines and billboards and fashion and ways and commercials and what um, what would you say to somebody, uh, like a bit of advice? Advice? Um, I Become an accountant? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Yes. Yeah. Um, yeah. Some <laughs> actors have said that too. They said if you're 50-50, like you're 50% about being an accountant, 50% about being an actor or actress, mm -hmm. and you're not 100% about being an actor or actress, yeah. go with the accountant. <laughs> Cause you got to be really a hundred percent in on all these types of these industries that we're in. You, you do. Be, and I think you mentally, you have to be grounded. Like, I know someone mentioned, you know, how did you stay so grounded? And I think that's really important because, you know, acting music, all the entertainment stuff, it, it mm -hmm. can get kind of crazy. And yes, the hours and, uh -huh. mm -hmm. and the travel too. Cause you're never in one place that, you know, I think that's why I got married so late. I was just, you know, it's hard on relationships, you mm -hmm. know, when you're traveling as much as you are. Um, and so, yeah, to stay grounded is really important, you know. Uh, how did you, and again, I mentioned that you guys got uh, married pre-pandemic. How did yeah. you meet? So we met. Did he respond to that uh, dating app ad you did? <laughs> no, because no. that would have been that. that would have been a very effective ad campaign then. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Yeah, it worked. <laughs> I got married. Yeah, it no. worked. That's right. No. We actually met through a friend. A friend of mine introduced us, and so it was very organic. Um, it happened very naturally. Yeah, that's fantastic, so, huh? I know. Is he in yeah. any of these industries too, or totally in a different? Uh, He's in the art world. He's in the art world. Um, yeah, that yeah. Great. But not, I mean, you know, it's very close, right? Music, yeah. fashion, art. Oh, right? yes. Yeah. I mean, they're all pretty much running the same circles, you know? Yes. So, um, but he's more, in, you know, doing fine arts and he's, you know, does 3D modeling and for sculptures and that kind of stuff. Oh, that's so, really, really cool. Yeah. John yeah. Ways is here. Um from Indiana, talking okay. about the Midwest. 
and uh, he's a wonderful medium and so much more. And he was a guest on our show. We'll have to get oh, him awesome. back too. Yeah. Um, he goes, Cindy, what was the key to your staying grounded through yeah. all of that? And and that's a great question because, yeah, as you were mentioning, sometimes it can get crazy. The hours, the personalities, the emotion, the travel, yeah. maybe missing family and friends. And you have to have some way to stay grounded. How did that happen for you? For me, it was absolutely my Buddhist practice. Um, you know, I didn't grow up religious per se, but, you know, when I moved to New York, I had a really good friend and she, you know, I was going through all this stuff and she's like, hey, have you ever tried chanting? And I was like, what's that? And she's like, because I was coming to her complaining about stuff and she's like, you know, you have all the answers inside you. You just have to like tap into them. And she's like, if you want, you know, we were running around the park that day, like doing laps. And she's like, if you want, come over to my house and we can try it. And I was like, okay. And I tried this chant and I was like, immediately, like, I don't know, like this light went off and I was like, wow, like she's right. Like all, I have all the answers. And so since that day I started practicing Buddhism and it's really helped me stay grounded um it's a daily practice too you know so uh, when you say daily practice do you get up early in the morning or or is it throughout the day you're doing various things well it's one if you chant nam yoho renge kyo i don't know if you ever heard of that mantra no um, tell us about that yeah yeah so nam yoho renge kyo is the chant and you say it repeatedly and you do it morning and night you know for however long you want and what happens is it brings out your highest potential and you, you instantly become enlightened. Like anyone can do it. You don't have to become a Buddha. It's like, it's that powerful. Mm -hmm. And so when my friend said, yeah, come and chant and try and see how you feel. And I felt immediately different and not everyone has that same experience, but that was my experience of it. And yeah, it kind of stuck with it. Yeah. Over yeah. The which, years. And it's which, really, yeah, it's very grounding. Yeah. Isn't that cool to have that to, uh, to sort of keep you grounded and keep mm -hmm. you uh, level headed. And because again, sometimes things can get a little crazy. And um, so it doesn't seem like you really ever got all caught up in it. You know, like sometimes performers of all kinds, yeah. Get so wrapped up in what they're doing that when they have a day when they're not doing it, they don't feel worthy. They, right. or, or if whatever yeah. it is they're doing, say they're playing a character on a television show and that show ends and they're sort of typecast as that character. Right. Yeah. Especially child stars, you know, that we yeah. all grew up with. They, some of them have trouble you know, reinventing or moving forward mm -hmm. uh, or, or some people really buy into all of it and it changes who they are. They're only the person that we see on yeah. television and movies on stage and magazines. It sounds like in a way that Midwestern sensibility in the beginning was very mm -hmm. helpful for you. Kind of, it was kind of, hindered me as well because like i said i was living with my parents they were my mom's korean so you imagine how strict she was Very strict yeah it was kind of like yeah in the sweet shop a little bit so like actually the buddhism helped with that all that because i you know i didn't have guidance i didn't you know and i'm getting invited to all these parties and it's like yeah. a whirlwind and i'm making all this money and so you know my parents kind of understood but didn't you know and so they try to give me guidance from afar, but I was just like, you know, it was, it was better that I had developed my own practice and stuff. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Right. So, yeah. John says, great to hear you remain grounded and true to yourself throughout your career and experiences, yeah. which is really, really fantastic. So the floral we were talking about, is there anything else that uh, you want to do or anything that's exciting that's coming up that you want to share with our audience? I don't know. Let's see. Well, um, 
Like I Besides said, basking in the glow of recent wedded bliss. Uh, <laughs> yes, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> that yeah. tops it all. It really does. Who knew? Like, I was like, I remember telling my dad once, I'm like, I'm never getting married. Like, I don't want to. And he's like, <laughs> and he said something really profound. He was like, I'm so sorry you feel that way. And I was like, I was like, wow. I was like, mm, like almost like a disappointment for yeah, them. Yeah. Like, you're missing out if you don't, you know, find try that. Or, yeah. Yeah. So that always stuck with me. Yeah. Um, yeah, but marriage is great. I, I do love it. <laughs> That's fantastic. And I never, yeah, would think that I would ever say that. <laughs> you do have a glow about you. <laughs> Thank and, you. And it isn't just because of the skincare. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Which is wonderful. This was awesome having you here on the show. I know we chatted, we sat for like an hour or so. We've done wow, did an you hour really? 20 minutes. Are you an hour kidding? Went by it, so fast. Every oh, it's guest so says easy to that. talk to you. <laughs> I appreciate that. Yeah, every guest says it never feels like whatever the wow. time turns out to be because you know why? Yeah. Because I don't do questions in advance. We don't do it as an interview question. And I've done years of all of that. We don't do it here on this show. I know it was actually it, making me nervous to come what's on. What's he going to ask? <laughs> and, and what are you going to ask me? No, it's better spontaneous. Yeah. It's spontaneous. Mm -hmm. It's flowing. It's living and breathing. It's yeah, organic. It's authentic. Yeah. And, uh, and ad lib. And we're sort of having a tennis match or playing off the energy of each other. The viewers are involved and in, in, they're engaged. Yeah. And it's just a wonderful trifecta of lovity. <laughs> love it. Always comes back to that gym master show, love it. I hope uh, since we're here in the tri state area, New York, New Jersey, Connecticut, we get a chance to get together as well at some yeah, point. Yeah, that would, that be, would awesome. be really, really cool. Yeah. And, I would uh, love that meet in person and yes. uh, a couple of our loveties are saying congratulations on your marriage cindy oh, linda you. in saint augustine florida giving you those good wishes and uh, oh, rini cats we all need things in our life that ground us like this show thank you rini yes. i appreciate that coming to us from the midlands of flushing and uh, rini's going to be she was a guest on our show as well and cool. she's wonderful uh cabaret performer oh, and wow. um she should be coming up soon she's gonna be coming back as a guest oh, Monita is uh, watching in south africa congratulations yeah. on your marriage and enjoy merlin always usually cuts to the chase <laughs> <laughs> motherhood motherhood oh no <laughs> she's like i'm still dealing with the m for marriage now the m for mother oh, marilyn yeah. i mean marilyn marilyn goes right in there oh god <laughs> <laughs> but follows it up with it's wonderful to wow, have you wow. here cindy nice. my daughter is a cindy as well oh nice thank you and sherry larson says thank you for joining us tonight cindy loved hearing about your life and career good luck with wherever your life takes you nice. yes so and, and we'll keep abreast of all of that too yeah uh enjoy one another absolutely Mm -hmm. uh, you guys enjoy one another. And uh, I love these comments that are coming in here. Good stuff, Jane in Sweden. Uh, thank you, Cindy, for being here with us tonight. And thanks, Jim. Our pleasure, Jane. John Weyas in Indiana. Congrats. Congrats. Thank you, John. And uh, good to see you here tonight, uh, John. And Marty, I remember some of the cool models gang like uh, Helena, Amy, Melton, and Oh, Heaven yeah. Lee, Heaven who's Lee. some of the other models you knew and became friends with? It's amazing. Like, yeah, a lot of those girls I still talk to um, over the years, which is awesome. Yeah, they became like family. Um, so Isn't that great how that happens? Because a lot of times in these industries, people don't necessarily stay yeah. together. Yeah. No, I, I've made the most amazing friends through modeling and yeah, they're still my friends today. So yeah, they know who they are. They're probably watching. They know <laughs> who they are. We know who you are. <laughs> <laughs> We're coming over with a bottle of wine. Yeah. <laughs> Unlock the door. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yeah, that's funny. Mm -hmm. um, and Rini says, best, Cindy. Oh, Sending you the you. best. 
This was really fantastic. Uh, new so friend, man. Fun. New friend. Absolutely. Absolutely. We always have a good time. We, you know, even sometimes we go deep, we keep, you know, we have poignant conversations, everything. We still have a touch of lightness and warmth and conversational nature to it. Like I yeah. say, I don't call these interviews. I know some people do different things. They call what they do interviews. Yeah. I say these are conversations, sort of like yeah. the old school Johnny Carson, Dick Cavett way with a modern yeah. vibe. And we have a good time, you know, and uh, I think, it's also more authentic and relatable too, you know, because we've had such a good experience together yeah. and we will definitely keep the porch light on for you. I hope you enjoyed the time Thank with me know. as much as I have with you and the show met whatever expectations that you had too. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. I really appreciate it. We will have you back, Cindy, and uh, we'll keep that porch light on for you and uh, relax, enjoy Hudson Valley. Yes, yeah, it's a beautiful if, night. Yes, I yeah. will. Mm -hmm. And uh, the snow, and maybe we'll see you in the city at some point. That'll be cool. Yeah, that sounds great. Spread the word about our show. And if you know of other folks you think would like to pop on, spread the word now that you've we'll experienced. Do. And yeah. uh, I, we really love that, my friend. Yes. Sounds you take good. care now, okay? You too. Have a good rest of your weekend. Thank you. Bye, everybody. All right. All the lovities say goodbye. Oh, actually, you know what we do? <laughs> well, we say the latter part, I say we don't say goodbye. We say, see you later. Uh, see you later. See you later. <laughs> <laughs> Take care, Cindy. Take care. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm. Cindy Hetzel, live and direct from Hudson Valley, New York, a supermodel, actress, and she's loving flowers. Uh, is going to be creating an event planning company and floral design and so much more. Really great conversation with her. And you got a chance to learn about her career. And I'm sure you've probably seen, if you didn't see the incredible photos we showed earlier and everything else. Take a look at this show in the archives if you missed anything. Matter of fact, it was a double lovely day today. And wow, how epic it was. We really had a great time. Two shows today. Earlier, we had humorous, humorist, stress management expert, and author Loretta LaRoche live from Plymouth, Massachusetts. And we had laughs every second. And same here with Cindy. It was really a fantastic conversation. And uh, congratulations on her recent marriage, her pre-pandemic marriage. Really a beautiful thing. Really, really nice. All these great comments coming in. She's so cute. Um, yes. Uh, if you didn't see the episode where we also had Lydia on the show, Lydia is the world top model, Ms. 2022. She was just on a couple of nights ago. We had an epic conversation and she came into us from Long Island, New York. And that was fantastic. Marty goes, you should do a models panel show with Jim Masters TV show with the, all the old gang. Good idea, my friend. Good to see everybody. A wonderful weekend. Very busy weekend for me. Again, I had a television shoot, uh, news shoot earlier uh, today. There were several hours in the TV studio. It was so nice to be in the TV studios. I love when I'm in the studios and and uh, doing our thing. We had a guest that flew in from Arizona to hear the East Coast for the television news uh, interview. It was a PhD and somebody in, um, I don't know if you've ever heard of physiognomics, but it's really fantastic. And matter of fact, the news interview was all about physiognomics, which was really cool stuff, really cool stuff. The study of body and shapes and uh, just too long to go into here. However, <laughs> it was really enriching. Uh, one of the other hats I wear for the television news magazine show in New York. And uh, and then we had the guest earlier, Loretta LaRoche and Cindy Hetzel today. And of course, uh, spending time with all of you is always fantastic. We love it. Gang, we love it. Uh, and we thank you very much. Now, if you missed earlier, we had the glass here that says Mr. Lovity, hashtag Masters Mantra. This came from uh, Lovity. Maureen in Arizona sent this a while ago, so we figured we'd sport that tonight. Hopefully she'll see this. Uh, there was just some pink lemonade in there. Not much left. <laughs> I always sneak in, you know, a sip or two. Because when you're talking, I've been talking straight since 8 o'clock this morning, and it's now 8.30 p.m. Eastern at night. So a lot of talking. I don't think I'm going to talk tomorrow, which is Sunday. At the time of the show, we do all these shows live. I don't think I'm going to talk tomorrow at all. Maybe I'll just say good morning and good night. And that's it. <laughs> it is a holiday weekend here for us in the United States. It's President's Day on Monday. Of course, all the banks and the post offices are closed. Some people are off. 
Uh, we are here Monday night. I have incredible award-winning a legendary film composer, Dan Foliart, joining us. Uh, we're working on building that episode now, so we'll be posting that, uh, scheduling that on our YouTube channel soon, and then you can join us live on Monday, 7 p.m. Eastern, 4 p.m. Pacific. He is extraordinary. He's worked on so many epic movies, television shows. He's a legend in the business. He knows everybody. We have a lot of mutual friends as well. He's here Monday night uh, on President's Day here in the USA, 7 p.m. Eastern, 4 p.m. Pacific. We'll be here. We're going to be off tomorrow. We're going to sleep late. It's been a very busy week. I've been running around. We were in Massachusetts. We were in Connecticut on all these TV shoots for the lifestyle travel TV series I do on CBS stations and then television shoots and daily radio series with the TV news magazine show and, uh, and writing scripts. And then, then of course, all these episodes building this series with all our episodes, all our guests, all the content, all the production, all the booking. Oh, wow. A lot of stuff we do for, uh, for you. And I love it. You know, you got to do what you love, love what you do. And I posted on Facebook that I had this wonderful comment that came in from the son of a legend, Holly, ho uh, a Hollywood legendary tele see, I'm talking so much now today. I'm going to have to stop soon and just rest, uh, a legendary Hollywood television comedic genius, the son, and the son is going to be coming on the show. And we're so excited. And he wrote just a beautiful, he watches our show. He loved the episode when Kathy Garver was on just a night or so ago, Kathy Garver, we had so much fun. It was her second time on the Gym Master Show Live. Kathy Garver, of course, from the beloved 60s series Family Affair, where she plays Sissy and so much more. Uh, he loved that episode. And his father, a, a incredible, legendary comedic genius, television, film icon, going to be coming on the show soon. And he wrote this beautiful, beautiful message to me. And I shared it on Facebook and, and all these comments coming in from friends and colleagues. Many of you, I appreciate the beautiful words. Uh, he was talking about, you know, how I do what I do and just so heartfelt. And uh, that's the way we do things here at the show. A little touch of the heart in there. Let's dive in before we get ready to wrap up. Some days I don't talk at all as well, believe it or not. Yeah. Yes. How did you miss the early show? Well, you know what? If you need a laugh, watch it in the archives. Loretta LaRoche, humorist, stress management expert, author. She was on the show about a year and a half ago. And uh, wow, she was incredibly funny. Dear friend, I interviewed her on PBS for some of her incredible specials. And we just loved it, loved it, loved it. Christine Clifton says, Cindy really had fantastic opportunities since the beginning of her career. Gorgeous photos shown through the show. Wishing her well with future projects. Nice show, Jim. Thank you, Christine Clifton in North Carolina. Have a beautiful rest of your day as well. Say hi to your mom. Sherry Larson says, everyone, have a great weekend. We'll see you all Monday evening. Love you all, Sherry. And Sherry, thanks for all the sharing you're doing. You share on Twitter. You share on Instagram. You share on your Facebook pages. All the links to every single show we do. And that is really something. She just shares it. You know, we post it and she shares it. You guys can do it too. It spreads the word and it helps us big time. Just share the YouTube episode link that you see us post on your Facebook or your Twitter or your Instagram. So those people that you know will watch it. And uh, we love it. So Sherry Larson in Kansas, you've been doing that consistently every single day on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. And we've noticed that. And we thank you, thank you, thank you for doing that as often as you do. Kathleen Walker, enjoy your day tomorrow. Have a great night. Good night, all. Mega lovity hugs to you, Kathleen. Right back at you and everybody else that's watching from all around the country. I visit the archives regularly nowadays. Aren't you guys glad that we have these shows archived too? Because life does get busy. So uh, the only ways that I get to watch the shows since I'm doing the shows is in the archives. Kind of makes sense, right? Because since I'm doing the show, I'm, I really don't see the show because I'm looking at it. I'm looking out at you and at the guest. I, 
I don't, well, I see what's behind me, but everything's flipped and reversed. So I don't get to see the show in the, in the fashion you do because we're busy producing and hosting it. So I'll watch these later and I'm always looking for different things, tweaking and fine tuning and everything that comes from my TV background, but, uh, we'll, we'll binge watch. We will binge watch our own shows too sometimes because you know, these guests are great and all the com, you know, the comments we have from all of you and the camaraderie and all this famous lovity and everything else that we do here at the show. We haven't been singing in a while. We got to do some singing. We got to do some serious singing. You know, we're working on a CD. I won't say much. I can't, I can't say much yet, but we are working on a CD. Uh, I do sing. I just, I've only really, I think the only times that I've shared singing on this series is birthdays and Christmas carols with some of the guests. Uh, but we'll be doing more of that for all of you. I know you've been asking about singing. You've been asking about that beautiful guitar, my guitar over there. I don't know if you can see it. Boom. Uh, you've been asking about that. Next, I have to wheel in the piano and the violin. <laughs> uh, but we're going to be doing some more of that because you guys have been asking. And we'll start sharing some of that with some specially designed shows for that. Sherry Larson's All Smiles. Good to see. We love that. A couple more coming in here as well. Enjoy the weekend. Rainy Katz, good to see you. See you soon. Thanks for checking in here on the Gym Master Show Live. Entertainment Lifestyle Variety Talk Show Series. Sherry Larson says, thank you, Jim, for the double loveties day. Not sure how you keep going. A colleague of mine said, Jim, go to bed. <laughs> I know it was a, it was a, uh, it was, how do I word it? It was really something today. Cause I've been up since I got about four hours of sleep because I was in Massachusetts on a television shoot at a restaurant up in Brimfield, Massachusetts for our lifestyle travel TV series on CBS and then get back to late. And then I had scripts to write for the television news shoot in the morning this morning that we shot at the television station. And then I had the show this afternoon with Loretta LaRoche and then tonight, and then I squeezed in a dinner, which was uh, ZD and meatballs. And uh, that was for some energy because I hadn't eaten breakfast or lunch all day. All I had was a blueberry scone, which came from the restaurant shoot in Massachusetts. They also have a bakery and they sent us home with all kinds of goodies like a blueberry scone and some cookies. So I had the blueberry scone with a nice hot cup of coffee for breakfast this morning. Usually I would have something better than that, but needed something quick. So I had that and then I uh, had to get to the studio and get everything together because the guest was there and the makeup artist and the director and everybody. And we did that shoot. And then I had to get back here quick, just in time to welcome Loretta LaRoche to the show uh, for the second time. And then of course, quick eat change. And I'm wearing like three different outfits today. <laughs> and uh, to be here with all of you live at 7 Eastern, 4 p.m. Pacific for another epic show. Merlin says, Lydia, such a smart cookie. Yes, Lydia was on the show. Uh, world top model, Ms. 2022. Great show. Thank you, Jim. Thank you, Kathleen. And again, you're welcome that we did the double loveties day. Double loveties, for those who are new who are watching, is when we do more than one episode of our series in the same day. We call it double lovity here on the Gym Master Show Live. Marty, thank you very much, my friend. You and Babette, great to see you both here tonight making uh, your date night our show with the wine and the cheese, uh, the Irish cheese and the wine. Great show, my friend. You're always a class act, as was Cindy Hetzel. So are you. I appreciate that. My friend Marty, who also did a couple of super chats tonight, helps our series, and we really thank you big time for that, Marty. Uh, you are absolutely the best. You are you are double lovity <laughs> for sure. Uh, I could probably use a little more. Things are extremely busy with my professional work. It's always been, but now because a lot of the world is sort of returning, my days are very busy. I'm on the radio all day hosting multiple shows. Then I have TV shoots with the couple of different shows that I host. And then there's this monster show, the Gym Master Show Live. 
which requires a lot of time and attention with all the production and booking the guests and scheduling and promoting and all the stuff that we do. So we are going to relax the rest of the evening and we're going to sleep soundly like a baby, like a little baby tonight into tomorrow. Yes, tonight into I think we got some wind, some crazy winter wind coming tomorrow along the coast and the northeast and the New York area and the New England coast. So it's going to be a good day. Or maybe it's, I think it's maybe tomorrow afternoon into Monday into President's Day. I think we're going to just stick around. That on Facebook, we posted a video of um, some video from the TV shoot I was on up in beautiful Brimfield, Massachusetts, and some of the food. Would you believe that was just some of the food? And after the shoots, we end up eating it or they box it up and we take some of it home. And the crew and I end up eating it. The French toast had homemade banana sauce that had a little Jameson in it. It was epic, Sherry. It was really, really, really good. Yes, Yes, uh, Paul Green is going to be making a return visit. Uh, my buddy and I uh, have been chatting recently, staying in touch, you know, catching up with each other because we've both, he's been very busy of late and I've been very busy. Uh, Paul Green, of course, you know, from a myriad of different things. He sings, but he's also an actor. A lot of the Hallmark movies, uh, he and I worked together on events at Carnegie Hall um, in New York City, the famous Carnegie Hall, where we were both on stage. And um, you can do a duet. That'd be kind of cool. He'll be coming soon before you know. We'll keep you posted. I know we mentioned it to his followers and they got all excited as well, uh, which is kind of cool. Uh, if any of the greenies are watching, we welcome you to join our Lovety squad here, the Jameis Loveties. All those foods from the shoot looked yummy. I know I've been doing that show for 12 years, the one on uh, CBS. So you can imagine all the food that we've sampled. <laughs> um, I know we don't say goodbye. That's why we don't say goodbye. You all make it hard to leave. I know it's like, we're all, this is kind of like we're having uh we're having a chat together, isn't it? Like we're all in the same room. It's kind of like a lovely show. We got to do another one of those lovely chat shows. Smiles coming in from Merlin and uh, you can have that win from Kansas to you and please keep it. <laughs> I know. It's, it won't be a nor'easter. It's just going to be windy, windy. Hang on to your hat. Great Aussie wine with vintage Aussie cheese. It's called Watching Gym Masters TV Show with my beautiful wife, Babette. It doesn't get better. Boy, we need to have a uh, uh, an advertising branding campaign for the Gym Masters Show Live series that says just like that matter of fact, we should get some of you to write in and tell us. We we did the whole thing where we saw your chairs. No other show has ever done that. Where the guests showed us, well, the, we've seen the guest chairs. Where the viewers sent us photos of. I don't know if you saw that episode last year. The viewers sent in. You guys sent in photos of the chairs that you sit in when you watch our series. And it was very very cool. I keep thinking of that mauve colored chair with the pillows in Canada that, that Marlin, that Merlin uh, sits in. <laughs> and I think, was it Maureen sits in, or somebody sits in this really thick, maybe Mary Bishop, this really comfortable leather. I think it's Maureen, very leathery, comfortable sink in sort of chair, sort of couch chair setup. Looks really, really good. Yes. Love it. Yeah, that French toast was heavily and more. You guys are the best. We're going to take off, gang. It's always a pleasure to have you here. Thanks for gracing our presence. You're watching the Jim Masters Show live entertainment lifestyle talk show series. There it is. You see that? You know you're going to be entertained, informed, and so much more. You'll always have a good time with us. We thank our very special guest, supermodel actress, Cindy Hetzel, for joining us here on the show. If you haven't, we would love it if you subscribe to the YouTube channel, Jim Masters TV. Click the notification bell. It's a little bell icon so you never miss the alerts. You get alerted every time we have all these episodes. And don't forget to give this episode a like. 
There's a thumbs up icon under every single episode of our series, and it is a little like thumbs up. Do that, and if you can, also leave a comment on the YouTube channel. As much as you guys love commenting when the show is live, definitely leave a comment on the YouTube channel. Why? Because YouTube sees that, and then they blast this episode out even further, so it really does help us big time. Cool stuff, gang. Wow, we're going to wind up all this talking and not talk for the rest of the weekend? I don't know about that. We're going to be speaking to family on the phone tomorrow, so probably not be, you know, Super Bowl was last weekend, so we did a lot of talking then and a lot of eating, um, pizza and other stuff. Sorry for those who were rooting for the Cincinnati Bengals, I know, uh, but the Rams won and that is that. My teams weren't in it here on the East Coast. <laughs> uh, Kathleen Walker and Kathleen's teams weren't in it either, East Coast. Uh, Smiles, and Kathleen, they're talking about uh, pushing the baseball season back a little bit because the, there's the lockout with the players and the owners. They're not agreeing and everything. Uh, so the season might be starting later this year. Mm, hope not. We got to see you there at City Field. But we, we got to see you before that. We got to we got to paint the town red, New York City, and get in there and uh, have some more fun. Night night. Thank you, Jim, as well. You know, it's funny. The people that probably watch this show when it's like two in the afternoon and they see all the night night and they're probably like, what are they talking about? Night night. It's two in the afternoon. I'm watching this in the archives. It's not night. <laughs> but when you think about it, somewhere around the world, it is right. It's always nighttime somewhere. Good night, Jim, and all the lovelies around the globe. See, some places it's winter, some places it's summer. We're in winter, counting our days to spring. Coming, coming, coming. Make it come quicker. The groundhog saw six more weeks of winter. That groundhog there in Pennsylvania. We got to talk to Jen Barry, who thanks Cindy again. We got to uh, talk to our friend Jen Barry, lovely Jen Barry. She's in Pennsylvania. Could she have talked to that groundhog and... Uh, <laughs> Kept him from going back into that uh, hole where he lives there in Pennsylvania, USA. All right, gang, we're going to wrap. Fun stuff. Thanks for the comments. Thanks for the levity. Thanks for your viewership and your support of our show. Marty, thanks for the super chat. That's always available to anybody watching in chat. Uh, it's very easy to do. Super chat, super emoji, super stickers. We celebrate you. We thank you. Special color uh, happens to your comment. And... Um, it's really, really cool. If you never get a chance to do that, but you want to support the show otherwise, on every episode, there's a little heart icon, and you can do it after the show as well. Some of you have done that. Terry Ann has done it. It's a little heart icon, and if you click on that, it says thanks, and you're able to thank the Gym Master Show Live uh, with your support in any way, shape, or form that helps us. We appreciate that. Uh, let's just kind gestures that you guys have done. And we thank you so very, very much. Um, it would actually help me if the season started late, going to be moving soon. That's right. Keep you posted. It'll still be in the same neighborhood. Yes. So you need a little leeway to box things up and get things together. I could only imagine Kathleen. Good luck with that. My friend we will have to toast after the big move still staying in New York city, of course. All right. I see a lot of people still watching and we, we get a lot of people that watch live, but so many that watch later on. And a lot of people who watch live who don't comment, they just sit, they watch, they enjoy. And we love that too. So however you watch our series, we thank you for doing so. Continue to spread the word. We'll be here continually as long as you guys are. I'll be waiting for you in the host chair. I, will, I might eat dinner, sleep, and all of that in between, but I'll be back here waiting for you on the next episode. Love you all. Thanks for being with us. That's another great show in the record books here on JMS Live. We'll see you, 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 and you again. Be well. One more comment coming in. Good luck with the move, Kathleen. Yes, from Juanita. Absolutely. All right, you guys. Everybody roots for everybody here. That's what we call levity. Checking out, gang, for the 40th time. We'll see you on the next one. Be, good luck. Be well. Take care of one another. Love one another. And cheers. <laughs>